Hey guys, I'm on here going to show you how to install IR Shelf 4.9. I'm going to do this in two parts. Part two is going to be installing an auto start plugin so that if you want you can turn your PSP on and have IR Shell or another homebrew start or turn it on and hold a button and choose up to 10 different homebrew games, ISOs, or applications to start. So we're gonna install IR Shell 4.9 right now. I have it down here. There it is. IR Shell 4.9. If you haven't downloaded it, go download it from my 4 shared file. I will have a link beside me. Once you have it downloaded, make sure your PSP is connected to your computer and toggle your USB. Toggling mine right now. Alright, so once that opens up, mine's M. Yours will probably be something else. If you got autoplay, it should pop up and look something like that. Open to view folder. Alright. Now we've got that open. You don't have to do it this way. As you can see, I've already got IR Shell installed. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we open up our IR shell WinRare file. And there we have three files. Two text files. Read those. Pause it if you need to. We're going to use these two files. This one we don't need. All it's got is an auto boot, but we're not going to use that one. I've heard it doesn't work sometimes. I've never used it. But we're going to do auto start in part two. So you take your IR shell file from the WinRare and just put that one onto the root of your memory stick like mine IR shell so you can just drag and drop it in there pause if you need to. Once that's in the root of the memory stick, this file, then we're going to open up PSP. You have two options. You can use the Game 150 folder, <coughs> excuse me, or you can use the Game folder. I've used the Game folder. So we double click on that one. We have IR Shell 2x, 3x ready to go. Want to open up the root of the memory stick? Go into PSP. And there's our game file. So we have that ready to go there. And just like we did with IR Shell folder into the root of the memory stick, we're going to do the same with this one. Right into the game file. Now since I've already got mine in there, I'm going to say no. I've already done it. You do it. Pause if you need to. Because once that's done, transferring, you're done. 
you can exit USB mode, which closes that. We'll go down to our PSP. Don't mind the shakiness. There's IR shell. We finish with the awesome game boot. We have IR shell loading. And there we go. My R shell came with this theme. Well, sorry, it didn't come with it. I downloaded it. Added this theme. <clears throat> Yours will come with a generic theme. You can get R shell with a theme pack from another download site. Or you can go and just download skins for it. I've got a couple. I've shown in a different video. But there you go. IR shell is ready to go. It's 4.9. If you're wanting to do it with auto start, you can skip to part two. It's this video is now over. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.